black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. On today's subscriber sponsored request, we have Oklahoma Burgers, a simple, delicious, few ingredient, easy one, but does require some technique. That's why we need the mandolin, of course. We've got the onion, pickle, cheese. Sauces aren't required, but when I'm having one with sauce, fresh beef just picked up, and some locally baked, fresh today, bag of buns. So, let's get into it. All right, first things first, we gotta prep our pickle coins. We've got the mandolin set for perfect pickle coins. I need about six to eight, just like that. Perfect pickle coins into our pickle coin holding purse. Next, we gotta get the super shaved onions. So this is gonna go like as low as it can go. I'm gonna have to test the theory here. Also, I'm halving the onion like this, and we're gonna go in the mando on a sideways shave, not a flat, a sideways shave. Let's see if this is shavy enough. I'm gonna tweak it just a little tighter, because we want these like thin, thin, like see-through thin. Yeah, there we go. All right, so here we have it, basically, Thin, 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 translucent. See, you can see through them. Translucent, thin onions. Okay, off to the side. I have strict orders from the requester of this video to keep ketchup out of it as they are a ketchup hater or non-prefer, we'll call it, but also a hater. <laughs> that being said, we know I'm a saucy guy and I said, I'm gonna need to try one of these burgers with a sauce on it, to which I got the green light to go ahead to do a mayo mustard. And I really think that will work on like this. This is very like an old timey burger, right? Real simple. Really isn't supposed to really have a sauce, I don't think. I think it's just supposed to be the purity of the flavors involved and really let the ingredients stand out. But I need some sauce, at least on one. All right, got this fresh beef here. Gonna form out some patties. I think I'm gonna go with something where in like maybe three ounce, three and a half type thing for some smashity smash-ish type burgers. Not quite, yeah, well they're smash burgers, but kind of not at the same time. But yeah, anyways, a three ounce-ish patty. Kind of try to match that. I think I'm actually gonna opt for three burgers. Might as well, because I don't think they're gonna be huge eating. So we do three of these. Maybe make one a little smaller to see how that, how that works, I don't know. All right, so here's where they're like semi smash burgers. First, you kind of form the patio for yourself, kind of how you think it's gonna fit on the bun. Doesn't have to be amazingly beautiful, but it does have to be stretched out enough to hold the onions that you're gonna put on top. So I think right there is about good. A little quarter pound patty maybe. So we salt this side, nice amount of salt, and fresh cracked pep. Smoosh that in. Bust out the trusty old fish spatula. And this is the side that you then stack on and kind of just lightly stack and press these thin, thin onions, right? Put a good amount on each. Lay, lay them in there like that, right? So there you have it. One side salt and pepped, this one like this. And then we come into the hot sizzling pan to get a good sear on that one side. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seat belts. We are ready for takeoff. And the next stop is Oklahoma. All right, we're giving these sides like three-ish minutes, but while those are cooking, I'm gonna just drop the heat a bit so that when we flip to the onions, they don't instantly burn. All right, here comes the first flip, moment of truth. Nice sear, I do believe. Oh, beauty, perfect. So we let this go for a minute or so, and then we're coming in with cheese and buns. Slice of cheese on each, that melty stuff. Then we're going Bottom bun, top bun, bottom bun, top bun on each and every one. 
And then what we're gonna do is drop it down even a little more, right, to nice and light. We come in with our tea towel and we cover and we steam. Steam, steam, steam. See that? See that steam happening? Coming up the cloth right there? Yeah, that's the magic, my guy. All right, let's take a little peek under the hood real quick. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Caramelized, cheesy, watch this. Like a pillow. I think those are time to come out and ready to build. Yeesh. All right, let's do her. All right, let's pull these guys. A little flipperoo. Onions all caramelized. Got that cheese melted under. Bring all our boys side by side by side. Have a look at these cheesy bottoms. Oh yeah, perfect. Couple pickles on each. Just like so. And on one of these suckers, I said I'm having sauce, right? I'm gonna do one with the sauce on top. One regular, and then I'm gonna bring the sauce on side just in case I find that it needs it. But we top our steamy buns, the standard classic right here, one back here. One with sauce for the crown jewel. But that's our Oklahoma cheese pickle onion, steamy classic burger. All right, y'all, the Oklahoma burgers, let's get them while they're hot. Also, while we're speaking of hot, let's talk about cold, freezing cold. We got to sell a nice freezing cold Mountain Dew Whiteout, which is a limited time offer, as you'll see here. Sold, I guess, mainly, I don't know, I guess it's been in the States because who requested this is from the States and said they can't find it anywhere, but they put me on task to get the Mountain Dew Whiteout because they absolutely love it along with these burgers, but these burgers were kind of kismet. We'll talk about that. But before we do that or anything more, we must pour, okay? So we're gonna crack this fresh Mountain Dew. Now Mount, this is a Mountain Dew I've never had. I've only had Code Red, well, regular, of course, Code Red and Baja Blast. And I love Baja Blast, so this whiteout has a, like, just exactly what it is like a white creamy texture like not quite translucent you can like not creamy but you can't see like right through it but shout out to you she who not shall be named because anonymity is a thing in the world okay this is for you and for me the first this is really inaugural like i've, ne I've never had this Tastes very Mountain Dewy. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time distinguishing much difference from the regular Mountain Dew. If anything, I think, think it's just a little less citrusy, a little less lemon limey. And it's like leaning towards a Baja Blast, but not a Baja Blast. Not quite as the same. Okay, we are drooping a whole entire burger here. So let's, uh, let's just move that to the side for a moment because that's going to be a... Uh, we're going to have to try how it's supposed to be and then we'll do that one. Okay, so this to me screams as a burger like nothing but classic. This screams old school diner, you know, back when people didn't over sauce the shit out of everything like I do. You know what I mean? The only thing I could say as per pulling it out of the pan and, and putting it together in its softness, is I could have probably stacked some more onions on there. I uh, I feel like the onions, I feel like the onions kind of went missing on me uh, after cooking. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> As I'm eating though, they are there. Wow, they are right there. Mm hmm. Wow. That is good. It's all about that soft bun, too. 
But yeah, very... Very old-timey. I will say... It is, it's very much, you're tasting everything, right? I say onions come first, then the patty, then the cheese, and then the pickle, lastly, honestly. And it kind of really reminds me of where I get my Coney, my Coney burgers from. It kind of reminds me of the Coney burgers I get uh, minus Coney sauce, add pickle. Mm-hmm. Very, very delicious. Anyhow, she slid in my inbox. Well, she tried to email me once. I missed it. She notified me on YouTube. I said, I, I don't have anything from you. She sent it again and was saying either make a po' boy, it's like a fried shrimp kind of sub sandwiches type thing. Which y'all know I don't really love Subway, or Subway, I don't really love seafood, but uh, I love Subway, but I don't really like seafood, but fried shrimp isn't really, it's like I could eat a po' boy for sure. It's super refreshing, good choice. But she said alternatively to that, you should make these Oklahoma burgers uh, that I saw from Kenji Alt Lopez, who is somebody who I watch his channel because he is an incredible mind in cooking and he keeps it all. Oh, this one looks great. All very. Like he's. You see him cooking in the kitchen. He explains things in a very layman's term, pedestrian way. He shows you everything. It's in his house. It's in his kitchen. It's not. You know what I mean? But he's a professional and he's amazing and he just has a huge passion for food. So. I love his videos. Oddly enough, and this is the kismet. I was like, I just watched that video about these burgers last night, just out of nowhere. So if my indigestion would stop for a minute, um, these guys in this video <laughs> meant to be, should we crave cam it? Why not? All the people who hate it, stop it. <laughs> Stop grave camming. But that's a grave cam moment right there, I would say. Mm-hmm. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I was right. Let's go with the sauce. I honestly love a simple mayo mustard little mix. It works for so many things. And when I saw the genetic makeup of this burger. I knew it would work for this too. I also have to say, <laughs> don't know that I've ever met some someone so vehemently opposed to ketchup. I lie, I've met a few. 
there are some real ketchup haters out there. I personally don't understand it, but I respect your hatred for a very childish sauce, right? It feels childish, ketchup, but still so amazing. I do honestly, in my opinion, feel as if those are the people who do end up not liking or like kind of hating ketchup are the people who get past like 12 years old or so. And they're just like, I'm grown up now. I don't eat ketchup anymore. Ew, that's for children. And they're just trying to be too mature for their age or something. And then they hate ketchup. They have to stand by that hatred for ketchup. Otherwise, people will be like, oh, going back on ketchup. Oh, <laughs> you know? Turns out I needed it with the sauce again. It's just, it kind of took it up a notch. But I will say, top tier burger. Very simple. Feels very war era. 30s, 40s era burger. Mmm, perfect. I put a little less sauce on this time. And it's just the best. But that's what it's about. Not super soft. Steamy bun. Mm. Also, if you've never watched Ken Kenji Alt, Kenji Alt J Lopez, what a name! Highly suggest. Hitting his channel because you will learn a lot. Over there. She's so talented. He also does like random, like late night, something from the fridge. And he has his head camera, like a POV cam. And he'll simply whip up just like a quick late night snack. They're good videos. Why do we love food so much? I don't know, because there's some people out there who literally are just like, I can't believe I have to eat as frequently as I do to stay alive. Like, some people just don't really care about eating that much. They do it because they kind of, like, have to. But they're not in love with food. Like I am. But food's, like, the best thing. How isn't it? Anyways, let's slug this. I often forget how good Mountain Dew really is. I also often forget how good simple things are, even though I do love simple sandwiches, you know, simple pizza, simple burgers. That said, I also love a fully loaded, extra saucy, heavy y'all, add crunchy onion rings Whopper too, so... You know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But these were really, really good. So shout out to you for the uh, sponsorship, the suggestion. And I hope that hit for you. And uh, if I can, maybe I'll send you one of these in the mail. Well, more than one, a couple. I'll have to see how heavy the shipping costs are. But it's out here and it's good. So thank you again to the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well, try these burgers. 
and stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.